uh sub guys so someone in the comments asked how to do a front lever so that's what i'll be explaining in this video today i'll be talking about the progressions the strength required i'll mention something about the form and lastly i'll also give you a routine that you can follow at home Learning the front lever is a challenging bodyweight exercise that requires significant strength in your core and back, as well as exceptional body control. Now, if you're new to calisthenics, you definitely will not have the strength required to do this, but I can, however, give you some foundational exercises before you start learning the skill. Starting with hanging leg raises. These will target your core muscles, particularly the lower abs. Developing a strong core is essential for stabilizing your body during the front lever. Next, we have the L-sit, which will build isometric strength in your core and hip flexors, which is necessary for maintaining the front lever position. To uh, hold the front lever, both the lats and the scapular muscles play a very important role. The lats help maintain the horizontal position of the body. The scapular muscles contribute to stability, which is crucial for proper shoulder positioning. To specifically target these muscles, I advise exercises like pull-ups and scapula shrugs. So before you dive into the real progressions for the front lever, make sure you first got these four exercises mastered. Now that we've developed the necessary strength required for learning the front lever, we can dive into the progressions. There are two main categories, static and dynamic exercises, and in each category, I'll give you two exercises that I feel like help me the most to learn the front lever. Let's begin with the static exercises, starting with the tuck front lever. Hang from the bar with your arms fully extended, engage your core muscles to stabilize your spine and pelvis, think about pulling your ribcage down and keeping your lower back flat. Engage your scapular muscles and tuck your knees towards your chest. This exercise allows you to develop the required body awareness and control needed. As you become more comfortable with the tuck front lever, you can work on extending your legs to progress. If you can hold it with proper form for a good 15 to 20 seconds, it's time to move on and extend the legs. Now, this counts for every exercise that I will mention. Um, if you get stuck in between progressions, first try the new progression with a resistance band if you have one. Some calisthenics exercises require complex movement patterns and muscle coordination. Using a resistance band can help you learn and refine these patterns gradually, making it easier to transition to unassisted versions of the exercise. It's not necessary to buy one, but I would highly recommend it. For the dynamic exercises, we begin with front lever raises. They involve lifting your legs from a hanging position to a horizontal position and back down. It targets the same muscle groups as the static front lever. The number one thing that you want to avoid is swinging. Really use that core to come down controlled. Again, start with the position where you are able to perform it with the correct form and gradually work on extending the legs to a straight position. And then the last exercise that I want to talk about is the front lever negative. Training the eccentric phase of an exercise leads to muscular adaptations that improve your ability to recruit and activate the necessary muscles more effectively during the concentric or the lifting phase of the exercise. Start at the top and come down as slow and controlled as possible. In the beginning, you'll just drop down immediately, but you will get better at it. Once more, if it's too hard, start with the tuck negatives and work your way up. A common problem is that people can hold the front lever, but uh, a sort of version where their hips sag down a bit. So to fix this, we want to work on the lower back and also on the hip flexors. Lie down on the ground, lift your legs towards the ceiling, keeping them straight with your toes pointing upward. Now slowly lower your legs towards the ground, maintaining a straight body line from your shoulders to your toes. Now hold it as close to the ground as possible. Again, if you're a beginner, you can start with bent knees and gradually extend them as you get stronger. Once you can hold it for 15 to 20 seconds, move on and extend the legs more. Those were uh, all the exercises. Now, lastly, I wanna mention some key elements about proper form. In a front lever, your body should form a straight line from head to toes, parallel to the ground with no sagging or arching. For the hand placement, you're looking for a shoulder width apart with an overhand grip so that your palms are facing away from you. Engage your scapular muscles to maintain a stable shoulder position. They should be pulled down and back away from your ears. Now you can make your own routine if you want, but I'll also give you one. It's a good workout routine. You can screenshot it if you'd like to. So there you have it, a compact beginner's guide on how to learn the front lever. If you enjoyed the video and if it helped, please leave a like. Uh, if you got any questions, you can leave them down in the comments and a subscribe is always appreciated. So best of luck and goodbye.